Hello guys, get ready for success. Let's face GCSE exam with our maximum confidence level. In this video we will discuss some of the previous questions with answers and formulas. Please subscribe and get our daily videos. Question number 1. The region of space around a magnet is known as a magnetic field. Which of these diagrams correctly represents the magnetic field around a bar magnet? Answer is option B. Magnetic waves always travel from North Pole to South Pole. Question number 2. The diagram shows two bar magnets placed close together. Which of these describes what happens to the two magnets? The options are A. Nothing happens B. They attract C. They repel D. They spin Answer is option B. They attract. Question number 3. Which of these magnet arrangements gives a uniform field between the poles? Answer is option C. Question number 4. State the name of a material that would be suitable for use as a permanent magnet. The answers are, steel, nickel, cobalt, neodymium. Question number 5. Describe an investigation that could be used to determine the shape of the magnetic field around a bar magnet. Answer is we need to use multiple plotting compass, and mark the dots and trace the magnetic field. Question number 6. Wi-Fi signals are electromagnetic waves that can be transmitted at frequencies of 2.4 GHz and 5.2 GHz. State a similarity of the Wi-Fi signals at 2.4 GHz and 5.2 GHz. Answer is, they both travel in vacuum at the same speed. Question number 7. The two Wi-Fi signals have different frequencies. State another difference between the Wi-Fi signals. Answer is wavelength. Question number 8. Which type of wave is a Wi-Fi signal? Options are A. Longitudinal B. Mechanical C. Sound D. Transverse Answer is option D. Transverse waves. Question number 9. A driver of a car sees an obstruction in the road ahead and must stop the car. State the formula linking average speed, distance traveled and time taken. Answer is average speed equals total distance covered divided by total time. Question number 10. A car travels at 21 meters per second the driver's reaction time is 0.14 seconds. Calculate the distance traveled by the car during the driver's reaction time. Answer is 2.94 meters, approx 3 meters. It is calculated by the mentioned formula. Question number 11. The car experiences a braking force of 7,600 newton. The car has a mass of 1,200 kilograms. State the formula linking force, mass and acceleration. Answer is force equals mass into acceleration. Question number 11b. The car experiences a braking force of 7600 newton. The car has a mass of 1200 kilograms. Calculate the acceleration of the car. Answer is 6.33 meters per square second. It is obtained from the formula. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. Thank you for watching. We will be updating more GCSE exam videos daily. Please subscribe us. To get regular updates.